Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's session. Today, we will go for the new syllabus from 2025, which is Circle Under Coordinate Geometry. So let's go and see what is in this new syllabus. First thing, we need to learn what is the equation of a circle, and then we need to learn the intersection with a straight line, whether the relationship is a quad, tangent, or do not intersect situation. We will go and see one by one. First of all, we need to familiar with the equation of the circle. This formula will be given in the formula sheet, where they will tell you the center is AB and the radius is R. So you do not need to memorize this formula, but if you want to know how can we get this equation, it actually comes from the equation of distance. For example, we have a circle that has the center of AB. This is my radius, and then any point on this circle is called x, y. So can we find the distance of this radius? Yes, we can use uh, Pythagoras. R squared equals the difference of x, which is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. So this is the equation of distance. This is also the equation of circle. So from here, we know what is the radius and what is the center. Let's say you have this situation, x minus 1. If you see this situation, you should know center is just 1, 2, and then the R squared is 36, so you know the radius is 6. If the question asks you if there is another point, 3, 4, this point, is it inside the circle or outside of the circle? So when the distance is, so it's within the radius of 6, it's within the circle. If you found that the distance is more than 6, then of course, this point is outside of the circle. This is the thing that they might ask. Other than this, they also might give you the equation of circle. So sometimes they will not give the equation in this way, but they give you in this way. Do you need to memorize any other formula to deal with this? Actually, no. You can just use back the formula that they give, just that you need to expand it. So we expand, this part will become... And then we expand this part with B, and then minus R squared equals to zero. And then you compare. So X squared and X squared is the same. Y squared and Y squared also the same. Then we can start to compare the coefficient of X. Minus 8X equals to minus 2AX. Then cut, cut the X. A is just 4. And then compare the coefficient of Y. So B equals to 4 over minus 2. So the center is 4 minus 2. And then after that, how to find the radius? We use this, minus 5, equals to the balance of my equation, which is a squared plus b squared minus r squared. So we just compare everything with the expanded situation. Then you can find what is my radius. a is 4, b is minus 2, radius is 5. So you need to know this equation and how to solve if they are in the expanded situation. This is the technique that you need to know and we see how to apply it in the questions. Let's see the first question. The question says this, so we can confirm the center is 8, 4, and then we know R squared equals to 100, radius is just 10. Then they ask you to show that this coordinate is outside of the circle, so we need to find the distance of T and center, so see whether it is more than 10 or less than 10. So the difference of x squared plus difference of y squared and then square root will be my distance. Square root of 200. 10 is actually square root of 100. So square root of 200, obviously more than 10. So that's why I shown that it's outside of the circle. Next question gives you the equation in this way. As you find the radius of the circle and the coordinate of the center. So we just expand the equation that is given, then we compare with it. x squared and x squared are the same, y squared and y squared are the same. So we compare coefficient of x. a is 4, then we compare coefficient of y. b is minus 2. So we know that the coordinate of c is 4 minus 2. This is the center. And then we check what is the radius by using this thing, compare with the balance part, which is here, here, and here. Radius is 5. 
Next question is again the same. We extend this and compare. We compare the coefficient of x, and then we compare the coefficient of y. The center is minus 3, 1, and find the radius by comparing this with the balance part. Radius is 6. Okay, then next they ask you to find the coordinate of the lowest point of the circle. We know that the center is here. The lowest point is obviously here. Agree or not? So if they ask for the lowest point, the coordinate, the x is still the same, but the y will move down. Move down by 6 because the radius is 6. From 1, we go down by 6. It will go to minus 5. So this is the coordinate of the lowest point. How about if they ask you the highest point, so you just go up. So it's just minus 3, 7 is the highest point. Just like that. Next question gives you the equation, but they give you two coordinate that lies on the circle. They give you these two information. Why? Because you have two unknown, which is A and B. By substituting this and solve the simultaneous equation, you should be able to get what is the value of A and B. Substituting one, you get A equals to 10 minus B. This is my equation one. And I substitute the second set of info. Subs one into two. B is 6. Then I can know my A is 10 minus 6, which is 4. So this is the value of my A, B. And then it asks us to find the coordinate of the center. So I fit in my equation. We just compare the expanded equation with the equation that's given. Compare the coefficient of x. 4x equals to minus 2 ax. A is minus 2. We compare y. So minus 2by equals to 6y. B is minus 3. Then we can confirm the center of the circle is minus 2, minus 3. Done. Let's see the next question. They give you the equation like this and we compare with our expanded equation. Find the coordinate of the center of the circle and the length of the radius. So we just compare the coefficient of x. It's 8. Then we compare coefficient of what? Center of 8, 5. Next, find the length of the radius. We use the balance of the equation. The radius is 4. Then we gain 3 marks. Next, show that this point lies inside this circle. So whether it's inside the circle or outside the circle, we need to use the radius to compare. So we need to find the distance between the center and 10, 6.5 to check whether it's less than 4 or more than 4. Let's go. Difference of x squared plus difference of y squared. Square root, this thing will be the distance between these two points. We get 2.5, which is less than 4. So that's why we show it's within the circle. Part B, a different circle have this equation, so we can confirm the center is 10, 6.5, and then the r squared is 2.25, so r is 1.5. So that these two circles touches, you are not required to find the coordinate of the common point. So we know that it's just a one mark question, so we just compare the radius. We found that the radius is 4 minus 1.5. The difference between the radius is 2.5. Okay, so let's see here. The x difference of them is around 2. The y difference between them is 1.5. So the difference between the two center is 2.5. 2.5 is both larger than the difference between x and the difference between y. So that's why they confirm intersect with each other. So we just need to show that the difference between the center is more than 2 and 1.5, then they will confirm intersect. Okay, let's go to the second part. The second part wants the circle to intersect with line. So this part is very similar to quadratic function that intersect with the line, which previously we learned this, this, and this. This is when the line cut through the quadratic, then we combine the two equations and say 
v squared minus 4 ac more than zero. This straight line is the tangent of the quadratic. We say v squared minus 4 ac equals zero. When they do not intersect, we say v squared minus 4 ac less than zero. If you need to revise on this, you can refer back to the quadratic functions video as shown in the link here. So same as go to circle. If the circle intersect with a straight line at two points, so this line, we call it chord. So if they tell you there is a straight line act as a chord of your circle, then you can directly relate these two equations and combine it into a single equation and do b squared minus 4ac more than zero. Then how about they say if a line is a tangent of the circle, then we combine these two equations, then b squared minus 4ac equals to zero. And if they say do not intersect b squared minus 4ac less than zero. So let's see how the questions come up. The first question gives you this equation and then says find the set of value of constant k for which the line of this equation intersects the circle at two distinct points. So we know that the relationship between this and the straight line intersect at two points means that we need to combine these two equations. Always we combine if it's a circle intersect with a straight line. We expand it. Then we can gather our a, b, c. So my a is the coefficient of x squared. b is coefficient of x. c is the balance without x. We simplify. So we can confirm b squared minus 4ac more than 0. So after we get these two values, since this is a quadratic, we know it's in between 0 and 4 over 3. And then this is a more than 0 situation. So we want above x-axis, means these two region. So this region is k less than 0. This region is k more than 4 over 3. So this is a set value of the ke. So this is six mark question. This question says a line is a tangent of the circle, so it's like this. So the first step, we need to combine the equation into one. So we start in y is 2a minus x. Then we expand it. Then we get our a, b, c. a is here. So we have 2b is minus 12 minus 6a. c is... 36 plus 9a squared minus 18, 18 plus 9a squared. Then we can deal with b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. a squared minus 2 squared. So it's a minus 2, a plus 2. So a equals to 2, a equals to minus 2. Okay, so these are the two possible values of constant A. Okay, so just until here for IGCSE start 2025, the new syllabus for circle geometry coordinate. If you face any problem, please feel free to text me here. And this part also include the air level types question. So if you face any problem in your air level question also, feel free to comment here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share my video. And see you in the next class. Bye-bye.